What is going on, Nash? It's your old buddy Troy, your real old buddy Troy, and I'm back. I'm back where it all began, on the old Twitcheroo, as, as the kids call it. Isn't that what the kids call it? There's nobody else here. It's just me and my cat, uh, Linus, who is uh, he's going after my backup beer, which I have in a little bowl full of ice here. I think it's cool. It's closed. I'm not too worried about it. Um, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, some of you might be joining us on Twitch for the first time or joining me. Nobody else is here but me and Linus. Um, other people may have been there when we started Twitching. I was looking back before we went live here uh, to see when the first Twitch was. And the first video that went up was May 20th, 2016. So it was probably sometime in early May. Uh, this is back before we had a Patreon, when we only had one podcast. And I was just itching to put out more content, but I knew we couldn't do too, too much. And I was already playing video games, so I emailed Joe, who was at his old job, and I was like, we gotta start twitching. Um, and he's like, that's not what they call it. I said, that's all right, don't worry about it, we'll figure it out. And uh, I was like setting up the channel with my shitty equipment, my shitty laptop, and uh, we, 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 I was like streaming that only to a channel that only he could see, and he was like, ah, it's terrible, um, but I think it'll be good. And so then we went live. I lost the first broadcast. The lost episode of, uh, of me playing Dark Souls 3 is gone, but then I played another, God, it must have been 50 uh, sessions, anywhere from an hour to four hours plus, uh, taking a, a character from uh, the beginning of Dark Souls 3 all the way to getting a platinum trophy, which means you have to beat it. Uh, two or three times, um, and then I kind of twitched a little bit more, and then I backed off, and then from there, Joe started twitching, and Skid tw start, started uh, streaming on Twitch, and Grant, uh, never Matthew, he doesn't even know how to turn on uh, a PlayStation, let alone Twitch, um, but I just, I got busy growing uh, growing the business, growing the niche, um, but now that we started doing Androids and Aliens Live last week, uh, I was like, and I decided this pretty early on, I don't want to muddy up that channel with the video game streams, because the video game streams is a chance for us to relax, for me to relax, if that's humanly possible, um, but also a place for like the Nation members just to hang out. Um, I don't expect thousands of people like we had the other night. Uh, let me just grab my beer. Um, but I do hope that this will be like a nice, relaxed atmosphere just for to, to hang out and not have to worry about like, oh, I just missed a huge story moment. Um, I'm just gonna goof off and play video games. And so the game that I picked to play is, hold on, I need a sip here. I should actually take a look at the chat, make sure that uh, everything sounds good. Can you guys hear me okay? Let's see if people are freaking out. Try, I can't see you or hear you. Um, all right, looks good. Yeah, looks like everybody is uh, having a good time. Can't believe there are 8,000 people watching this. That'll play well uh, if this ever hits YouTube. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I want to play Divinity Original Sin 2. Ever since I, uh, ever since we started doing five shows, and uh, I now m I have a child uh, who's sleeping upstairs. My wife's been out of town for five days, so I've been on dad solo duty. So I'm really just excited to play. You guys are welcome to watch, or you can fuck off. I don't really care. I just want to play video games. Um, he's sleeping upstairs, so I can't get too excited. Um, but I'm in a new house now. I'm away from the lounge, uh, the, the Glass Cannon Studios. I just want to fucking play video games and hang out with the Nash. Um, and I never get to do uh, either that much anymore. Um, so the game that I picked is Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. You could throw the regular edition in front of me. I wouldn't be able to pick it out of a lineup. But everybody's been talking about Divinity, the first one, for years. The best RPG. Blah, 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 blah. And, I, you know, I didn't think I wanted another RPG because I played... I can't remember what the fuck I played and beat. And then I was like, all right, I need to just play sports games to... Uh, as like methadone to come down off all these RPGs. I can't even remember what I beat, but I just I played the fuck out of it, and then I was like, all right, I gotta take a break. I've been playing NHL uh, 2020. It's fantastic. But I said, you know what? They don't, the Nation doesn't want to see me play hockey. We tried that. Uh, they don't care. Nobody cares. Um, gotta play Divinity Original Sin. So I bought it. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. You can't go wrong. It pays for itself. Um, speaking of paying it for itself, how about this hat? It's available in our merch store right now. How much is that? $25? Are we just giving it away? Sorry, I yelled. Um, Divinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, so I, I, I bought it. I fired it up the other day, and I started a, a character. There's, like, characters you can pick that have a pre-made story, and I was reading a guide that says, like, if you're going to do that, make sure you use one of the, the pre-made characters so you can hear their, their voices and their story. <laughs> Who cares? I want to build my own character. I love The Witcher 3, but the one thing I wish I could do was change Geralt to, like, Steve Johnson. Uh, but you can't do that. But here you can. Why would I not choose that option? Just because the voices of the story might be better? <laughs> so I made a guy. 
His name is Yebby. Yebby Jones, MD. Dr. Yebby Jones to you. Um, and he is a dwarf inquisitor. And what I did is I, I fired it up. I wanted to learn the game a tiny bit before I started uh, streaming on Twitch. And so I played through the... I don't even know if you can call it a tutorial level, um, but but that's what it was. Uh, I'm going to leave the tutorials on because I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm going to show you what I did, and then we're going to move on, and I have no idea what happens from here. So let's just uh, continue the story of Yebby Jones, MD. It's Dr. Yebby Jones to you. Now you might want to know where I got the name Yebby, because in... Uh, Dark Souls, the character was Ralph Treadwell. Um, Yebby Jones, MD, my son, uh, he has a, a sleep sack that he sleeps in because you can't uh, put a, a blanket on a baby or they'll, uh, they'll die. So uh, he has a sleep sack that he sleeps in and there's a zipper on it. And he says, instead of zipper, he says Yebby. And we just think it's, my wife and I think it's the funniest thing ever. Yebby! It's Yebby time! And so this is Yebby, Dr. Yebby Jones, MD. So here I am, uh, old Buckethead Jones. Uh, that's, I found this bucket, uh, and I'm using it uh, as a helmet to protect me. I have no shoes, and I just found a dagger. But let me take you back. Let me take you back to the way back. So you start a new game, and this is a cutscene. I wasn't really paying attention, but it looks like uh, shit went down. I'm assuming it was the first one. Who cares? Um, shit went down. I wake up on this slab, on this operating table, and this woman's like, ha-ha, you're, you're awake. I'll, I'll see you later. And she takes off. <coughs> <coughs> I haven't talked to anyone besides a baby in days. She says, I'll see you later. Peace. And she leaves. Um, so now I'm just left to my own devices here on what looks like the uh, the hull of a ship. I think I'm like below deck on a ship. Um, there are these balls and chains and shit. There are these operating tables. What's going on on this ship? I don't know. Uh, and I should know because I'm a doctor. Dr. Yebby MD. Yebby Jones. So I said, okay, cool, let's check this out. And I started looking around here. Look at this. I mean, this is what I like. I think the number one thing that I like about this, and we're going to get to it, is turn-based combat. Uh, it, it, it feels like the closest thing to playing Pathfinder. Um, and I've enjoyed it so far, but I'm still really learning it. Uh, so I was like, all right, let's go over here. Now, there's immediately the one thing I got overwhelmed by is there's just a lot of shit. And I'm like, I don't even know how the controls work, and i got to look at all this stuff. And obviously, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, so you hold down X, and it does one of these, and it just kind of groups everything, and then it brings it up, and it's like, oh, you want to check out the ball and chain? You want to check out the desk? Already did. Empty. Chair, candle holder, ladder. Let's say I want to just check out the candle holder. Um, the ladder we're going to get to because that's the, the next place I need to go. All right, so I want to do an action. I want to use the candle holder. Oh, I turned it on. Sweet. Ambient. Uh, all right, so then I came over here, and I was checking shit out. I was searching like a motherfucker, and then I went here, and this door was closed and locked. Gun, gun, gun. Looks like my first quest. So then I was like, sha gun, 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 goo. Walked over here, and there were these boxes and shit. I moved the boxes from uh, near this door here, and I said, get out of the way, boxes. And then I went through here, and I came to this sweet little room where there's a sheep. Uh, I made passionate love to the sheep. And then I continued about my business. And then I realized that I wasn't finished, went back, got it on with the sheep again, and then said, no, must continue my quest. And so I went, pa -pa -da -pa -pa, looking around here, again, searching like it's my job, because it is. And then I was like, ooh, these boxes are precarious. Moved one. There was some shit inside of this vase that I wouldn't have known had I not moved the boxes. You want to see me move a box? Watch this shit. Uh, actions. Move. Oh, two boxes, because I'm a beast. You'd think I leveled up, but I didn't. All right, that's too far. Get out of here, boxes. It's pretty sweet, right? Um, I'm going to take another step. By the way, uh, if you're wondering what I'm drinking today, I'm drinking Trogue's Nugget Nectar, a.k.a. my favorite beer in the world. Uh, are there better beers out there? Sure. Are there beers I like more? Uh, I don't know. This is my favorite beer. It only comes out uh, January to, like, March, and it's my favorite. So I'm going to drink it, and you're going to sit here... Hey, watch me drink it. The one good thing about um, when I was streaming uh, Dark Souls 3 on Twitch is that after the first episode, Joe, also at the time, didn't have a kid and had a job that uh, he didn't like. And so he would, and he also lived a 10 minute walk from my apartment. He would come over and stream with me. Uh, we, would come, we were doing it like every single night. Um, we didn't even have a camera because my. Uh, 
a MacBook at the time, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to handle like showing the the webcam and the game. Now I got 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second. It's insane. Um, I know I'm not very well lit here, but we'll do our best. But it's crazy. We just had our voices for most of it. Um, so the one tough thing about streaming solo is. Uh, I have no one to talk to. Joe did offer to come over tonight. He was going to drive all the way from New Jersey to where I live, out here in uh, Yorktown Heights. Um, and I told him I didn't want company because I uh, I really needed some Troy time tonight. Um, so that's the difference between Joe and I. Joe always is down to hang. And I, if given the choice, will sit in a broom closet with the door closed. All right, came through here. First puzzle, uh, before I even read this letter that basically tells you what the puzzle is, just in case you're playing this game and you're an idiot, I realized two pressure plates had to move the boxes to open the door. Now this is where shit got turned up. I come down here and that little, uh, well, ignore that smoking body for a second, uh, and that body uh, in a pool of its own blood. Uh, it wasn't me, no. I came down and in that prison cell, there was a guy that was like, hey, hey, buddy, why don't you let me out? You let me out, and I'll take care of that god over there, that magister, magistrate. Um, and I was, I walked over to him. I tiptoed over. I was like, "What? What's in it for me?" And he's like, "You let me out, and I'll, I'll go take care of that guy, and then we'll both be free." And I was like, uh, "I kind of, I kind of made him, made him work for it." And I was like, "All right, you win." And so I let him free, and then the guard came over, and we both fought him and killed him. As you can see, I. I think I might have used a, uh, a fire spell of some sort on him. And then this guy was like, ha, we did it. But the joke's on you, asshole. And then he attacked me and I killed him. Self-defense, self-defense. Um, so then uh, this was covered in oil. I threw a candle and the oil went away. Big explosion. Oh, actually, that's what happened to him. I threw the candle and there was a big explosion. Okay. So I searched through here, zippity-doo, nothing of import. I eventually find a dagger and then I go through this door, and there's like a big, uh, another operating table, a bunch of shit, and there was a big, there was a bunch of poison here on the floor. If I stepped in it, I was gonna get poisoned. I threw a candle on that, made it explode, poison went away, sashayed through this door, and that led me to here. I don't know what's going on with this carpet. It, I can move the carpet, watch, I can put the carpet anywhere I want. There it is. Seems like it's there just to fuck with me because I can't figure out how to do anything else. Hit that lever and then boom, back to where we all began. Everybody with me so far on the uh, magical adventures of Dr. Yebby Jones, MD? Okay. Checking the old chat just to make sure everything's working. Seems like everything's pretty smooth. Looks pretty good here. Dude, how could you not stream in 1080? This looks sick. All right, let's uh, let's work through these screens. So down here, I have a battering ram spell, which it looks like I've always already burnt. Battle stomp, which I don't remember doing. Uh, mosquito swarm, that one recharges easily. Doma protection, I don't think I used. Petrifying touch, I used. That came back. So I got some spells. I found some posh, magical armor, minor healing. I should use that. Then I found two scrolls. Resurrection scroll. Oh, actually, in two electric discharge scrolls. I think I should use a minor healing potion. Yeah, drink that up, Yebby. Um, I think I need to use another one. Nope, that's, uh, they'll never find me in the bucket. No, uh, all right. Let's consume another, because I got hurt in that fight. If that's my healing bar in the top left, I've... I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, let's check out the character. So old Yebby. Zero XP is bullshit. I killed two people, but whatever. Um, <coughs> am I not healing myself? Or am I oh, you know what? Maybe the red is health, and the blue is like some sort of uh, magica. Um, in which case, I just wasted two potions. All right, no thanks to help from you guys. Let's, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go uh, equipment. That bucket is so stupid. I got a knife. Never know what I'm gonna find upstairs here. So knives out, now playing in theaters. Let's, 
Let's use the old ladder. Ooh, am I sure I want to leave the tutorial deck? Yup. Ooh. Two new journal updates. Ooh, two new chronicles. If I gotta fucking read for hours, I already hate this game. You've added two chronicles. Game save. Sweet. Oh boy. All right, there's a person up there. I think that woman up there is the one that said, hey, I'll be right back, jerk, and then left. Either way, I will not try and steal all of her stuff. Um, let's check out the journal. Okay, so journal is gonna give me my quests. Find someone to help you remove your source collar. Oh yeah, I'm bound by a magical collar that cannot be removed. And then troubled war. Get your bearings, then go to the upper deck. As sorcerers, it's a weird way to spell it, we have been arrested by the Divine Order. The prison island of Fort Joy awaits. All right, so it sounds like we're living in a world where magic is either outlawed or regulated. Again, I've never played any of these in the original Sims, so if I sound like a total noob, I'm just doing my best. Um... And so we've been arrested for our... Maybe we're arrested because we spell sorcerer, S-O-U-R-C-E-R-E-R-S. -E -E that would be... That would definitely be a, a punishable by death offense in the court of Capitacasa. Um, all right, so those are my, my journal ants. Let's just do a little search. Or, ooh, okay. Small tome. Yeah, I'll pick up the small tome. Laboratory stuff. Am I just picking up stuff that I can't fit in my person? I feel like that's way too much, yeah, laboratory stuff. Oh shit, no, don't, no, bail. I don't want to talk to her yet. What is this? I want to first steal all of her stuff. Cooking pot? Can I just... What a well of knowledge this I think she's talking to me. Dallas is such a dear lending it to me. Laboratory stuff. Wait, no, I'll do this again. Mortar and pestle? I'll take a mortar and, mortar and pestle. Bottle rack? Ooh, empty potion bottle. Sorry, I'm just checking my baby monitor. Make sure no one is stealing my baby. Uh, lid. Do I want a lid? No, this is all garbage. It's over here. Jawless skull. Guess I'll take that. Uh, medical cabinet. What's in there? Nothing. Pot still. What can I do with that? Combine? Ooh, I'm crafting. Should I put some apple pie in the still? Make some apple pie moonshine? Um, no, clearly I just need to put some ham in the still. Uh, all right, I... I'm not gonna overthink this. I don't know anything about crafting. If there's a tutorial later, we'll figure it out. We didn't come here to watch me craft. Ooh, a grotesque jar. Yup. What else can I do? Okay, just add to wares. Add to wares. Row of books? Nothing in the row of books. Skull with candle. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Um, more books. Medical cabinet. Give it to me. Empty. Did I already search that one? Gold cup? Yep. Can sell that on the gold cup eBay. Assortment of books. Nothing. Just gotta check my baby monitor here. Oh, cool. He's up. He must hear me being hilarious. I have these weird fears that, like, someone's just gonna climb in through our window. And steal my child. Who steals a child? I guess a lot of people steal child. That's that's obvious. He'll be fine. All right, back to Yebi. I don't. I can't carry all this shit. Uh, all right, what's over here? Couch, assortment of books, empty candle. All right, I think I've searched everything. She's gonna want to chat. She's gonna wonder where all her candles and buckets are. What are all these yellow dots on the map? They're making me nervous okay uh, we gotta go up we gotta go up let me just search this bucket real quick barrel rather oh excuse me yeah let me search the barrel in the other room so stupid all right there you are not too tight I hope the collar every dog gets used to his leash that's rude all right so this is another magister uh, 
if she asks why the magister downstairs is dead, um, I just say my dog ate my homework. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister, Magister William. All I gotta be registered in the ship's, the ship's manifest. Master. And he's the chap in charge of the logs. Praise logs. You'll find him on the other side of this Okay, deck, what options? Okay, so tags determine what options are available to you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your power. Custom characters have race, gender, and background. Okay, so this is a cool thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm really going to be into it. Uh, I have yet to determine. Right now it seems like a lot of work. Um, I, but I do remember enjoying it with Fallout because in Fallout 4... What you said and how you approach certain circumstances ultimately uh, changed your relationships with NPCs. So I'm under the impression from what I've heard that they take it to a next another level with this. Let's see. Mentioned there was a little accident. The prisoner's dead. Lean in whisper that the... Oh, yeah. Sh shit. All right. So already, had I not killed the Magister, we wouldn't even have to have this conversation. Pull up the thing. Demand to know. Uh, give the Magister a quick salute and report... I mean, it would be the right thing for me to do to tell her about what happened. But honestly, if I just get out of there and she finds out about it later, uh, then the, she has no proof that I did it. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this because I feel bad about killing the Magister and see where this leads. Is he? Oh, well. Some problems simply sort themselves, awesome. don't they? Awesome. So she's down. She didn't like that guy. He's dead. I made the right choice. Uh, all right. Give the master a quick salute and report for duty. Mister, you had a long dream about a ship sailing the river, but you're not dead, are you? Uh, all right. Give her a little salute. Never. But you can stand at ease there, Private. You do realize you're not... Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word. You do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that Ooh. sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Event. A new life awaits. All right. I shouldn't have said anything. She made me feel like an idiot. Um, all right. Opening my map here. We'll zoom, zoom, zoom. Hatch. Okay, flag. That make it pretty easy. Need to get to Magister William. Nothing else here. All right, let me go check this bucket. Barrel. Oh, damn it! I don't want. Yeah. First barrel. Nothing. Rope. Can I take rope? All right, forget it. Just forget it. There's, there's been a murder here. Uh, check that barrel out. Oh, wooden figurine of a well-oiled... I need glasses. Something wood. Those beady little eyes seem to follow you no matter where, but I'll take it. I'll take the voodoo thing. Okay. See ya. Oh, boy. Okay. There's people here now. Hello, Magister Merrill. A young Magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Oh. Oh, there's blood on the floor there? There is, and there's a body in the other room. Behind the Magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. I can't leave well enough alone, I gotta ask. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest oh. of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did Ask it. if I can lend a hand. No, I don't want any side quests. Side quests are the death of finishing these games. Um, ask if he knew the dead man. Yeah, let's do always does. This is the second. Okay, I, mean, I just want to know what's going on here. You're surprised you're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Uh, he's a sorcerer. Okay. Small ones this time. The God. We'll find out who did it. Okay. Weird. Let's just go in there and no marks. No loot the body, clearly. Uh, let's see. Uh, broken source collar. Hey, put that back where you found it. Sorry. 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 Was it a bad idea to just take the evidence? 
Sorry, I was just taking the evidence. He talked to this jerk. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Uh, inform her that she wasn't this man's protector, she was his captor? No. This is a weird thing to say, too. Ask why she's letting you so close to the crime scene. For all she knows, you could be the killer. I'm just going to take my leave. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what my relationship is to them. There's blood all over the place. Let's just keep moving. Oh, wait. Got to go check out this bucket that's been eluding me for weeks. Barrel, barrel. Stairs, rope. Yeah, I got that rope. Ooh, gold. It's a weird place to hide your gold. All right, cool. What's over here? More barrels. Empty. Broken bottle? I can't tell if this is one of those games where you should just take everything. Uh, originally, I thought that. Um, but then at a certain point, I just had a bunch of shit on me, and I started lumbering around. So I can't just take every broken bottle I find. Can't do it. Keep rocking and rolling here. Thanks everybody for uh, tuning in for this. This is uh, this is exactly what I want it to be. Laid back. Ooh, some gold. Fucking penny bun mushroom. Oh, okay. I can craft a potion. That's good to know. Understood. Uh, understood. Let's go to this sack. Nothing. Okay. All right. Things are happening here. More rope. I feel like you can never have too much rope in an RPG. Ooh, that barrel is... I was going to say, that barrel is just... Ooh, a bedroll. That is something every adventurer needs to have. Can I take it? Score! One thing I read is that you should definitely have a bedroll. So, we'll see if that comes in handy. Uh, metal crate, empty. Crazy person, let's talk. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Awesome. Snake, Snake eyes. eyes. Uh, Gung-ho. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Uh, should I ask to join her? Obviously, she's the only sane person in she this. Oh, how rude. Game for one, I'm afraid. All right. Rolling dice. Deciding fate. Frown, whose fate is she deciding? Laugh. Can she read the future and cow entrails as well? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be rude right back. She eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Who told you about what I did with my arm? Uh, decline. I don't know where her tongue has been. She chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> that red-cheeked refusal tells me more than licking you would. But suit yourself. Darling. All right. She smiles contemptuously. This is a lot of dialogue. Just All right, shut up. We're moving on. Uh, oh, two more bedrolls. I thought I found the one bedroll in the game. Nope. Man, there's a lot going on here. Is this what this game is? This is heavy. Crate, greasy key. Can I just take the greasy key? Um, all right. Let's talk to this greasy spoon. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub story. Watching for clues. Okay. 
A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you. You know, to it's weird. Closer. It seems like there's the magisters who think their sh who thinks their shit don't stink, and then there are these sorcerers who are all crazy. So maybe I'm just in the wrong place. I'm being mistaken for something that I'm not, or I'm actually crazy. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board, and I beg three months' pay is this. All right, so the magisters are blaming these collared people uh, for committing this murder. Clearly, it was one of the magisters. Am I the only one that thinks this? Rolling his eyes at the magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. Um, I'll move closer. I'll bite. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses on pleasant. Oh, that was nice. Neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. Yeah. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right? Oh. Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword. Johnny Big Johnny Pants. I was going to go with that before I went with Yebby Jones. That would have been embarrassing. Um, what did he do to find himself at the mercy of a subordinate? Yeah, I want to know this. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about Away it from interested story. parties. Away from interested Quietly parties. back away. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet. Oh, I like that guy. I like that guy. And moreover, I trust him. And on this ship, you gotta keep your friends close. Hello, pocket knife, mashed potatoes. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna cook, but I'll take some fucking garlic, some wine, a potato. Uh, let's read that journal. This this tome contains no text. and had sketches of dragons fill every page. The artist is hardly talented, but clearly enthusiastic. I'll take it. Uh, chip plate, don't need any of that. Greasy door, sack. Search that sack. Nothing. Sacks. Search that sacks. Uh, watermelon, effects unknown. I'll take it. For it is almost summer in this game. Ooh, minor healing potion. Good to make up for the two I wasted. Couple stool samples. Uh, small poison bottle. Yoink. More mashed. More garlic mashed. Uh, poster. We'll just take it. Six new recipes. Hello. Just call me Yebi Lagasi. Oh. I just took a washing tub. There's no way I can still walk around with all I have on me. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right, that one's locked. Good. I was hoping I would get to an impasse. The one thing about doing this wide search thing is like, I, ho I hope I'm getting everything in there, but you can't be too sure. All right, so how do you not be a completionist with this shit? There's a lot going on. Crazy Elf playing dice won't let me play. This guy seems cool. Used to be the boss. Now he's not. All right. Oh, here's a couple of a couple of my peeps. All right, bottle of beer. Thank you. Mug of beer. Thank you. Speaking of which, uh, thank you. Well, uh, there has been a murder, Your Majesty. Maybe that has the Magister's more concern than your. Let's see what's going on in the old chat. Chat Ruski. Just a bunch of friends making making new friends. That's what I like to see. Start some games. Build a podcast. Empire. Uh, all right. Nothing here. Check the deeper portions. Basket? Can I search that basket? Ooh, gold. Nothing. Sack. Ooh, short stick. Looks like I drew the short stick. We'll see you next week. Uh, water barrels? Nothing in there, right? No, I cannot carry all these water barrels. Okay. Um, let's do a little inventory dump. Wow, this is getting out of control. Uh, first of all, 
Drop that water barrel. Drop that water barrel. Keep the beer and the garlic. Alright, I gotta talk to these guys. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring my supper. Was this some sort of lizardy, lizard folk, dragon kin kind of situation? Um, used to be the boss now. Same situation as me. Sorcerer caller. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on the indignity. All right, good. That's it. I love when a dialogue ends quick. Oh, look it. Another, uh, oh, this is pretty cool. It's another lizard folk situation. Well, well. A fresh face. What have we here? A fresh stale face. Hell. Stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See Please don't. You'll do. The lizard the lizard. you up and down. Like a oh, that's rude. Fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your... Slap away his hand. Yeah. Not gonna let anybody boss old Yebby around. I am a learned doctor. Remedy that. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, I can cook. Oh, music to my belief. Can you knit? Question. Can you knit we? In short, uh, um, yeah, sure. Oh, but to feel the caress on then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? I'm just going to say yes to all of it. Cosmetic. The very basics then. So, three questions asked, three as per your own test. Cook, tailor, and groom. Cook, tailor, and groom. I offer you my sincerest congratulations. As of now, you are oh boy. You should probably come to terms with the fact that you've half a mind, full stop. Rain in your impertinence, will you? Anyway, you may leave me for a moment. Ah. Uh, all right. We've been playing for what? How long? Insufferable. Surely. We've been playing for 37 minutes, and I'm already slave to a lizard. Not how I drew it up. Bottle of beer, mug of beer, mug of beer, mug of beer. Can never have too many stools. I, God, do I have to talk to everybody? I'll talk to this beast, this ruffian. No, you know what? I'm tired of talking to people right this second. Let's do some more searching. Uh, mattress. All right, I'm too much of a completionist. I have to talk to these people. A broad dwarf. Broad dwarf. Oh, okay. Palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous Finally, Each one another dwarf. Through with golden medallion. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't... Listen up, boy. You hear boy? That? What am I meant to be hearing? The ship, of course. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? Say the sea sounds angry like it's trying to capsize. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this one. Ah, a common sort of sound, isn't it? Where those I seem to be misreading sound. everyone here. That's all you hear, though. Listen there now, just like that. Squeak! Aha! His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. Oh, good. One I want to make friends with the one the other dwarf the other on the ship. Before you there. You heard it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. It's the, the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means well, this guy's good. Beast. For my beard, that means if we've been traveling for yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort John Captain. Ah, yeah, I could tell he that was a seaman. Tells me we're getting close to the joy. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard. Gold medal. That'll be all. Thank you kindly. Boy. See ya. All right, he seemed cool. I cannot. All right. Just remember, I gotta talk to this guy, Gil. Gotta talk to old Gil. I wanna do a little more searching. Oh god, there are children now, or those hobbits. I'll come back to them. This is ridiculous. There's just too much. Okay, 
that's good. There's nothing over here. Oh wait, I've done a full circle, right? Right. Have I gone in here? I did, but there wasn't someone here. Okay, that's candle. Okay, good. All right, so I don't feel as bad. Um, we got to talk to Gil. Let me search here real quick. Uh, give this a little searcheroo. Search them sacks. Psh. Spoon, useless. Still took it. Uh, okay, that is where I want to go, but I gotta talk to everybody. It's a sickness. I don't wanna Stay talk to everybody, but I don't know how not to. They killed that fellow uh, I'm gonna crack open my second beer of the night. Well enough, um, but I know it all this is a real special one, uh, if any of you give a shit. This is a uh, high water brewing campfire stout. Uh, the phrase is, leave you wanting some more. That's right. It's a s'more stout. This thing won the World Beer Cup. It, uh, it's pretty fucking great. And I'm going to go straight from the can. Let me do a quick check uh, on my son. Father of the year here. Uh, oh, good. He's asleep and no one has stolen him. Always a good sign. Um, now I'm going to have some of this campfire stout. Where is High Water Brewing Company? Uh, San Jose. Oh, hell yeah. All right. How's everybody doing here? We got... Oh, we got a good group in here. Good, solid group zony. Um, all right. Once again, thank you for uh, joining. If you're just joining us, we are doing lots of dialogue here in Divinity Original Sin 2. I am overdressed, and I don't want to get up to turn down the heat in my apartment. Stay away from the Magister's brother. They killed that fellow back there. See, that's what I, that's what I said. I said it was the Magister that did it, not the uh, sorcerers. S-O-U-R-C-E-R-E-R. -E -E -R. Okay, good. That was good. I love a good, quick dialogue. I already looked over there. Hey, what's your story? Name? Tell me your name. Yebby. Dr. Yebby. Alright, good. That was quickie. Let's deal with this situation. Uh, I think those are children. At first I thought dwarfs... Or, uh, no, excuse me. No, those are kids. Alright. Oh, husband. husband. Would you please? Tell this very charming gaggle of mutter. Nor do I. In fact, I'm I deathly, deathly no allergic. Play along with her. Do I sing yeah, I'll play along. I gotta make friends on this ship. How very correct you Spouse are, of mine. Of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeb. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeb. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin. And she shoes the children she seems away cool. from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get and maybe I'll she a bard, maybe? She turns to you, dark eyed and dead. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Shake her hand. You presume right. Remember thinking about the murder? It seems like a weird question to open with. Especially to my wife. Um Ooh, do I invite her with me? Yeah, I think of everyone we've met so far. She seems cool. The captain, Captain Dwarf, seemed nice too, but something about her I like. Damn it. I'm trying to make an alliance. Early on, classic Big Brother move that failed. You take care, though. Peace. I'm not going to ask her about the murder. Her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. Why did she do that? As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change. Okay, came over. it's official. No one on this ship can be trusted. Good luck, Chief. That was the most innocent. Do I have to talk to these kids? My mom told me not to make friends with dwarves. Your mom's an I asshole. Think dwarves are nice. Like people, shorter. They're, they're like people, but shorter and weirder. And all right. Who's this guy? Who are you? Fame. Bet you he wants to live forever. The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hugh. The one dwarf. Famous one other dwarf. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every deep. He reaches out and examines your face, tugging at your ears and prodding your nose. Fane. Sorry, that was fame. Fane. I wanna live. 
He sits back and returns to his book, flicking um, from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Reach over and ruffle his hair. No, oh, that that never works. Uh, ask her whether is a what's the, yeah. I, I'm trying to be nice to everybody. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm going to be nice. I have to make it up for the cold-blooded murder I did below deck. And insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rough. Tony, what do you know of your our world's history? <sighs> I don't know anything. I've never played this game. Uh, I like that you can, like, based on different aspects of your personality, give that response. Like, the dwarven part of me would say this. The soldier part of me would say this. I'm going to go mystic because this guy is a... Mr. Bookie, maybe he'll be into this. Oh, nope. Please. Nope. No Literally every choice I've made has been a fail. Your books are too full of it already. No. I want to know about the oh. celestial. Oh, I'm sorry. The mystic choice was wrong. Gods. You want to know about celestial and the gods? This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Well, your book's lame, and so are you. Where did these gods come from? Admit some things are just are not coming from the gods and forces of nature. They're not uh, I'm gonna go with this. I'm 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 gonna die with this ship. Of course you don't have any. This guy's about to get a knife, Why a, a short stick to the that? face. Now please run along. I have a world. To I look like a giant asshole to everyone I've talked to. Here to register, sir. Good, good. Majesty, you fearing okay? So this guy's nice until he's like, oh, by the way. You're a stupid dwarf and you suck. Good luck. Um, I've been through worse. Trust me, with Bishop Alexander in charge. Bishop Alexander, remember that. From here on out. He's you head on in now. Literally the only nice person I've met besides Captain Dwarf. And he was kind of an asshole, too. Uh, Alright, remember, there was a pair of stairs in the back there, but that's not mine. And there's another pair here. Pair? Do you say pair of stairs? No one says pair of stairs. Ink pot I'll take. No, I'll fucking read. A few of them are in good spirits, especially the children. The others are sullen. Don't blame them. Change is rough. We'll make new friends sooner or later. And when we cure them for good, they'll be thanking us, not cursing. Well, most of them. That elf with the dice, that lone wolf, the creaky-voiced woman in the kitchen. Some folks won't get over it. Reckon they won't be the first to get cured if they're ever cured. Hmm. Curious. I'll take it. Requisition. Guess we gotta read these requisitions. Sorcerer hold pumpkins and flour. Okay, who cares? I'll take it, but may be handy later. Another requisition. Take it. Cupboard. Anything in the cupboard? Shh. Just some gold. One. One is someone get, gonna get upset when I uh, steal gold from a cupboard. Oh uh, I'm not gonna go to their desk. I'm just gonna. Here we go. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow oh, trained upon crossbow Jackson. Is being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor Oh. Man. Yes, I did. But of course. First of all, I don't believe her. I still think it was one of the other magisters. Let's see if I'm right. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives Is this going to be guys? Is this going to be an encounter? Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. Wow, this is a huge choice right in the beginning of the game here. So if I'm like, yep, you got it. I'm siding with the Magisters. Known assholes, except for that guy outside this door. Or if I'm like, you know what? No. Fuck you. Fuck this ship. Fuck all of this mutiny none of the people I've talked to have been cool even the one woman I thought was nice uh, had some sort of changeling thing going on where she looked at me like she was going to kill me and then was like alright see you later and then uh, addressed a sorcerer and asked what she meant by there are others whose lives must end that is the safest option right now uh, I hate to take the safe route but I'm going to go with that I need more information I need more information it means your journey draws to a close do stick around for its finale, though. Because... All right, so she's not cool. She reaches for her collar. And oh. Simply removes it. 
I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue him in quickly. If she casts source, the void woken will come. Source void woken? What? She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. It's an encounter. That's an encounter. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. Am I dead? I I didn't save once. What? Two new journal updates available. Holy shit. Are you guys watching this? Who's watching this? Is this amazing? Something amazing just happened. It took us a lot of dialogue, but now it's amazing. Tool tips. Okay, fine. I need these tool tips. What the hell is happening? What do I do? There's fire. There's dead bodies. There was a blackout. There's water coming in the walls. I need to see everyone's reaction to this because that was... Good. <laughs> JC 1505, you go get your sheep friend and run. <laughs> Grab the loot before the cops or the fire department shows up, says Darb the Bard. Uh, I mean, these are all good solutions. Whoa. Okay, I think I have a moment here. Clearly, first I've got to search the desks. Uh, bottle of wine, bottle of wine, bottle of wine, bottle of wine, chub fish, pumpkin soup, cheese bread, ham. Uh, let's look at Magister Yona's body. Oh, so cold. I take four pieces of gold. Twas a poor magister. Your magister? Oh, magister, you greet. Popular fantasy name nowadays. Magister William. How do they chest with confiscated goods? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at this. Improvised wand. Fucking toy. Toy crossbow. Oh, makeshift club. Oh, baby. We take that broken source collar. It's going to help me get my own off. Mine own off. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Uh, might as well take that red snapper. Okay, I like this. I like... I like what I see here. Display case, anything in there? That's cool. Um, yeah, just walk through the fire, idiot. Uh, deck of cards, deck of cards. Playing card, playing card, playing card. Pl no, I don't want a chair. Okay. I'm still on fire because I'm stupid, and it's the first time I've ever played a video game. Just walk through fire. Uh, all right, that door. All right, so this is where I couldn't get through. Uh, now I'll chug a minor healing potion. Okay, yeah, so this is what we learned. Uh, in fact, the red bar is healing. Wow. Are people st as fired up about this as I am? All right, let's go see what happened out here. Is everyone dead? Oh, is this my dwarf buddy? Oh, no. The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor. His great beard twisted and tangled around. Listen to his chest. He is stock still. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive, but right. only... He's alive, but that's all I can do. Oh, this guy. Fuck him. I'm not his slave. Let him die. Oh, dead magister. He was a dick. Oh, this guy was kind of cool. I forgot about him. If I rise Shake him and wake him up. Curled on the ground like his eyes flicker open. But he doesn't... Lucian. 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 Look. If Adam cries out, then his eyes fall closed again. I shake the life out of him. You shake him now. Okay. Okay. This is great. Is that a burning body? What is happening? Oh, just a restoration scroll that wasn't there earlier. Must have just jostled out of the ceiling during the explosion. The old restoration scroll in the ceiling. Still no key. That's really bothering me. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, have most of you, I am obviously I'm trying my best to just play and not be glued to the uh, the chat here, but uh, yes, it is my first time playing Divinity. Uh, yeah, I wonder how many people watching have played this, because I'm experiencing it uh, like I think most of you would experience it. Like at first I was like, okay, cool, enjoying it, but 
it's missing something, no. and then boom, the what dark. they call the inciting event. Uh, now I'm hooked. No, no, not the final dark. No. Oh, she was a dick. Uh, reassure her you'll get her out of here if you can. You know what? I'm, I'm still going to play that like I'm the hero and stick with me. Even if you're weird, you're all I've got. It's no use. And nothing Your I can do can save anyone. The dice roll darkly. They're wrong can I take me. her dice? Damn it. That's weak. I should be able to take her dice. Um, the sheep. Oh, all right. No, there's no time. Uh, oh, look at this jerk. The young woman lies in a heap on Call the out to her. Wake up. Yeah, I'm She's not touching her. Normally. She doesn't stir. Wow. Magister Jalen, nothing. Source hound? Raw red meat. Oh, I just cut a piece, a chunk of meat. Leather ball? Can use that with my sheep friend later. All right. Enough about the sheep. Oh, no, Jimmy. I liked him. There's the key to the David Stern room. Uh, wow, okay. This all happened really fast. Let's go back to the scene of the crime there where I wasn't allowed to do anything. Oh, look at this, just piles of goo. Ooh, gold. And is that a broken sword? Cracked two-hander. All right, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is the best weapon I have so far, and I probably should arm it sooner than later. Okay, let's see what's in here. Magister Morel, nothing. Kadok, nothing. Waters, gold, sorry. Broken source collar, I'll take that now. Poetry book? <sighs> okay. Who reads this shit? Uh, Finn. Oh, that's the body. Chunk of flesh. Yeah, I'll take it. Um... I lay the chunk of flesh on the lavish chair and say a prayer to Finn. Okay, that was amazing. What about this woman who was here from the beginning? Is she toast too? No. The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding. All right, very interesting. Um, all right. Okay, I feel like we're only an hour in here. Uh, and I feel like we've done everything. Now, there are these stairs up and then there are these stairs in the back. I am going to throw caution to the wind. Alright, I'm going to take that broken bottle. I can't help myself. And I'm going to go up these stairs. Okay. Fair enough. Need to find another way. At least I know. Let's see if that stern key I got opens. Do you guys like this view or this view? I can't tell what I like. There's times when I like this, there's times when I like that. Okay, it's locked still. That's gonna... I'll be up all night worrying about that door. Okay, wow. You know what's amazing? Like, all of the sorcerers are knocked out. The Magister in the beginning and Jimmy are knocked out. These guys, pile of burning flesh. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, wait, he had a buddy, though. He had a buddy, and that buddy is flesh. Okay, there goes that theory. Gold and mug of wine. Hook a brother up. <sighs> okay, okay. We are making some serious headway here. I think I've fully searched this. We went over here, right? Display case. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going up. We're going up. And Reese says, zoomed out. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. It gives you a fuller view. I like the idea of staying in tight, so I don't really know what's behind that door. But there is something cool about doing this. Um, the few times I've played at uh, Pathfinder at conventions, it always bothered me when people put the entire map out. Um, because you can see everything, you cover it, that's a lot better. But like this is the entire map is out. Uh, 
Don't know if I like it. Okay, now this is interesting. I like this. I like... In a game that I'm already overwhelmed by, I like having limited options. So the fact that there is a hallway there that I can't get through, huge. Unless this is a jug of water, it is. Damn it! I can put out that fire. Uh, let's pick it up. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Use it? No. All right. Uh, where is the stupid thing? Actions. Throw item. Yes, throw it up in the candelabra. Let's see if this works. Uh, I have to do it. Actions. I don't want to drop it there. That's not going to do anything. Oh! That's why I'm the boss. That's why. Because I was a genius to figure out that using water on the fire would put it out. Okay, back to my campfire stat. Once again, if you're just joining us, this is Pac-Man. Um, ooh, door number one, door number two. You're right, we should zoom out. There's a dog in that room. Obvious combat. Let's go through here. God damn it. Need to get off this Someone's in here. Quick. Grab a gold cup, check the display case. Empty forgery of a painting? Let's examine that shit. Ooh, vital. What? How does that painting. Is that hit points? Maybe vitality is hit points? Uh. Weird. Can I take it? Yup. Uh, okay. Ship's going down. Nothing important here. Nothing important there. Okay, that's open. We know there's a dog in that other room. Is this open too? Good. Oh, can I? I can attack the door. There's someone on the other side of that door, it sounds like. Oh, a lot of people. A lot of magisters. Not as interested in them take care of my business first and then we'll deal with their business oh body nothing how do these people not carry anything on their person Ooh, stained pants all right hold on you know what i gotta excuse me i gotta uh let's get to equipment here i'm not wearing any pants so stained pants would be an upgrade where are they come on where's the fucking stained pants Am I crazy or did I just take the stained pants? I guess I can't wear them. That's my source collar. Alright. Ooh, I got some weapons. Improvised wand? I mean, that sounds amazing. Makeshift club. Also awesome. Crossbow. Six to seven physical with the crack two hander. I mean, the wand sounds like a way to go. I guess I can probably hold that in one hand, and then... What is all in? I don't know what all in is, but I'm... Oh, I guess it's because I'm using two hands, right? So if I went wand, then I yeah, then I could still have a fucking pocket knife. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to do... That's cool. I'm going to go... I'm going to change that to the two-hander. I'm all in. I'm all in! All in. Uh, I still want to know what's going on with those stained pants. And just what was the stain? Wait, package? Stained pants? Package? All right, I don't need to carry the package. Yeah, no shit, I have too much to carry. Uh, all right, let's drop that. I just dropped the painting. Should I pick up the painting? Let me know in the chat. Uh... I thought I, I really wanted to drop this. Drop item, hold in hand. No, drop it. I guess I'll drop that broken bottle. I'm sure that's really breaking the bank of my encumbrance. Ancient Edel. 
Agent Eagle said, leave the painting, it's a forgery. This room is full of sacks. All right. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Can I just open the package? No. All right. Wait, was examine the package? I'd like to examine the package. No idea what that means. Um, ooh, dead body. Gold and a fucking muddy mittens. All right. If I can't put on muddy mittens and a stained... More gold. I said pants are in the last slot. Is what, uh, and Racy says... Oh, wait, hold on. No. Uh, equipment. I mean the last slot. Where are the pants? I don't see them. Nothing. I got muddy mittens. There they are. Muddy mittens work. Where are the fucking pants? I got two buckets for my head. Oh, they're the pants. All right. Sorry, I yelled. Uh, what's better? Leggings or... No. Stained pants. Oh, man. Yebby is looking good. Get this dwarf some shoes and we're in business. Yeah, I already checked him. Barrel. Empty. I don't want to... Crate. Let's check that crate out. <sighs> Crates full of gold, suckers. Long before this thing snaps into splinters. Oh shit, something just happened. I, I should probably be quick saving. At all. Oh good. No friends. Um okay, I don't want to deal with those steps right now. So I'm hearing voices. Am I missing a door here? Oh yeah, mini steps up here. We need to really take this all in. Magister Knight, nothing. Chest empty. This guy. Magister Swordsman. Gold. I hear people yelling, but it's really distracting. Mug of water. Effects unknown. That door looks pretty awesome. I'm not ready for that door. I don't think you're ready for this, Yabby. Is that a body? No. Barrel. Barrel. <sighs> okay. Um, that's smoky room. Smokey Robinson. That is the room with the... Oh, yeah, walk through the fire, asshole. Can I walk through this water? Will that help? I'm not sure if that helped. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go down here. Magister Ranger. <sighs> my first bow. It's like he had a little child's toy. Fisher Price, my first bow. It's good to see Magister Ranger. Really great name was rockin Fisher Price my first bow is there a water thing here that I can there it is uh, let's uh, I don't want to move it I want to throw it pick it up I don't know how to pick up and throw all right so I gotta go to equip I'm sure there's a different better way to do this but I don't know how to do it so all right let's just no, now I don't want to throw item right here. Boom. Awesome. Yebby is the boss. Wait, right. there's another barrel there. Ooh, man, I've got a lot of gold for a lizard man slave. Magister Priest Medwin. Skull marked key, maybe for that skull marked door. And then use to read. Off. Death fog barrels have been locked down in storage. It'll be lights out. Weird. I'll take it. And then the bonus stained pants. A lot of guys with stained pants on this ship. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, this guy alive? It's fame! Suddenly face to face oh with dear. Undead. His skull is bizarrely angular. 
So this guy was an elf 20 minutes ago. Now he's undead. The skeleton is quickly leafing and he can read. Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering to himself. Whoa. No, no, no. He sounds normal. Damn fools record knowledge on a pulse. It catches fire. It turns into must when wet. It cannot even resist acid. No wonder that the skeleton looks up. This is going to be a fight. This is you for the first time. Oh. Okay, no, he seems cool. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? Don't I don't need to attack him. Yeah, let's do this. The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantic. I know you're God. Oh, this is the guy that wanted to talk about religion. He was an asshole, and now he's uh, undead. Do you look at me and think, why, yes, there is someone with organs enough to drown? All right, he's right. I'm, I'm an asshole again. He made me sound like a damn fool. Once this glorified skiff hits the sea floor, I will simply walk to shore. Whereas you and I thought about that a ship full of undead that sank they would just walk to shore that's cool um, why didn't I see him before he stands out at least you're doing something he could be saving lives instead of he's right the ship is going on I don't have time for chip chat remember one of your race's weaknesses is having your lungs filled with water the skeleton resumes oh, his I kind of wish I had time to attack him but there's no time uh, okay so there's actually no way through there so the only things left here are the room with the dog, which I'm going to do now, and then that room in the back, and then obviously the skull door. Let's see how this goes. Maybe the dog will be cool. Check out the chest. Oh, firestorm grenade. Raw slice of meat. Maybe I can throw that to the dog. In fact, that is what we call in the business genius no uh, use throw item Let's see if this works right at this jerk do you not let me throw it All right, that's annoying inventory item throw item All right, so if it's red I can't do it I will just throw it right there Hey, puppy. Oh, he, yeah, he's eating. Great. Let's get through here quick. No need to kill dogs. I'll take the beer. I'll check the desk. Gold. Awesome. Uh, okay. This is going quite well. I don't know if this is the right idea. It's locked. Uh, attack it. Oh, wow. That's working. I wonder if it hurts my weapon. Doesn't matter, this thing's about to go down. Pfft, fuck your door. Well worn chest. Gold. Repair hammer. Oh, I got some shoes. I should have read that. Uh, tattered shoes. Isn't it fun that every RPG you start out with just the most basic of clothing? And then if I ever put a hundred hours into this game, certainly not on Twitch. Uh, I'll eventually have like dragon skin armor. Uh, okay. Oh, look who's got some fucking tattered shoes. Yebby yeah, does. That's who. Still wearing a bucket for a head. Thank God. He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches okay. a hand towards his blade. I think it's go time, folks. Another sorcerer. Another sorcerer. Motion and destruction. What's going on here? Uh, finger your collar. You can't. You can help him. Yeah, get the collar off of me. That was one of my goals in my journal. Even if I knew how to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Some crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got four. I don't know what void bugs are. Um, on, that's yeah. right. There's a mutiny. Sorcerer, he wants. Ooh, that's a bold move. That's persuasion, where I'm like showing off my strength. Tell him there's no mutiny. You almost died at this woman's hands. That's actually the truth. I don't know. You know what? Uh, what do you think? Strength or intelligence? Quick vote. Show of strength, persuasion, or show of intelligence? I'm seeing in, 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 
in, in, in, in, in, in, in, in, in, coming in hot. Uh, all right, let's do intelligence persuasion. Failed. Mine is zero. I needed one. Looks like it's a fight, folks. It's a walk-off. How the fuck am I going to beat this guy? I don't even know how to... All right, so it's my turn. I have no idea how the, the combat system really works in terms of economy of actions. Like, I know I can go to actions. Uh, that didn't even work. I can move, okay? Or I can straight up attack, or I can do spells and shit. Scrolls. Resurrection. Electric discharge. I got two of those. All in. Uh, ooh. Oh, because I have this weapon, I can do this. It's a skill that I can cast. That's kind of cool. Um... I mean, that seems like the way to go, but I like the idea of opening opening with some magic, right? Battering ram, battle stomp. These are like, f these seem like more like feats. And this is a straight up spell. Smash your weapon into the ground, knocking down non-allied characters and hitting them for five to six. That's fine. It's just not as good as 10 to 12 physical, right? Let's do it. Let's just... Let's go all in, folks. We're going all in. Choose target? Him. How do I choose him? Oh, that's what it is. Not the candle holder. How do I choose this asshole? There it is. Oh! <laughs> I just fucked him up. He's dead. One shot it. One shot it. I think I'm yelling and my baby is right above me. Uh, does he have nothing on him? Wait, no. Loot. Nothing. Oh, there's... Oh, I didn't see these guys. Shit. Oh, I wish I had a ranged weapon. I got nothing. Mosquito swarm, maybe? There's no way that's in range. Maybe? Oh, yeah, in range. All right, little mosquito swarm. Sweet. I think I have to end my turn. Okay, I really thought that I had this under control. I didn't realize there were 19 guys in this room. He just... All right, so he just put his shield up and then walked, took seven move actions to get up in my business. This guy is fucking with the wrong dude. Uh, can I go all in again? What am I looking at bed rolls for? Uh, s small poison bottle. Here, drink this. Oh, so this is interesting. So Mosquito Swarm has got a ticker on it, so I'm assuming that's rounds. I can use that again in two rounds. That's cool. Um, all in. Looks like I can do it, but I don't know what I'm burning. Oh. Will it let me do it? Yeah. I don't know what it's... It seems like too powerful a skill to be able to use over and over. Three action points. Well, let's try it. It's definitely my best move. How is he still alive? Uh, no. Uh, shit. Attack. Not dead. Did he hit me? I think he missed. Oh, he didn't miss that time. Okay. Uh, he only has a little bit of HP left. Dead zoning. Okay. Okay. That... That really went well. Gold... Sermon of books. I still yet to find a good book. Wow, okay. Now we can leave. That was hairy. I didn't really take um, a ton of damage. Oh, there's some letters. There's a shabby letter. Something about this letter is shabby. Um, read the letter. My sweet Stefan, as I write this letter, we near the aisle. I think I just killed Stefan. Um, just you said, but I think. Oh, God, how can you read all this shit? 
Oh, wait, that's interesting, actually. Would he have blessed us as we rip children from their mothers? Can this be the only way? So maybe those kids up or downstairs that had the collars, like, they were sorcerers as well, and they, they stole them. I feel cold. Yeah, so it seems like the magisters or whoever that group is, they think they're doing the right thing, but they're possibly ill-informed. I'm not sure. Um, let's read the shabby letter. Oh, I just took it. Anything on the desk? Empty bottle. Uh, destroyed painting? Examine? Oh, because that's how much damage it can take. Who cares about that pillow? Might need that. Bust of Alexander. Bishop Alexander, if Lucian were alive, what would he think of his son's Globe? And you Bound tome? Hell yeah. Oh, God. I don't know what any of this shit is, but I'm going to take it. Read. Don't care. A portrait of evil. Bound. Looks like a portrait of evil. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Or that's 8. Whatever. Either way. They are not good people. That's locked. We are coming up on the end of my stream here. I want to finish with a bang. If, look at that. If if that's not a bang, though, I don't know what is. Clearly, oh, doggy. Oh, doggy, doggy, doggy. I don't want to deal with him. So I'm going to just attack this door. Ah, attack it again. Gah! One more time. Back your door. Okay, uh, let's go this way. And I'm on fire. That's cool. It's real cool. There's only one, I hit him on fire again. Damn it. That's what happens when you rush walking through fire still. Just walk through this water. <sighs> okay. Take a heal and posh. All right, I'm trying to wrap up this stream in about eight minutes. So I got dishes to do. Uh, yeah, I already looked at these guys. I guess we go behind the skull door. Door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You don't recognize the symbol, huh. but it's clearly warning you away. The order of the skull was here, clearly. You press your palm, yank my hand away, the wood feels pull open the door, nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you pull open that door. Now, it doesn't use budge. your key. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Oh, shit. Quick save. I really should be burning the quick save function a little more. What is going on? I mean, this is guaranteed death, right? This is guaranteed death. Uh, let's check it out. Chapter 1, The Merryweather. I don't know what that means. Barrel 1. Empty. Barrel two, also empty. Body on the floor. Magister Ranger. My first crossbow. Death fought. Good part of a sword. I mean, if you're going to have one part, that's definitely the part to have. All right, so I'm seeing this as impassable nonsense, right? Can't go up there. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Let's see if there's a way around. Ooh, Magister Knight. I see Joe is in the chat, and he's talking about jumping on the new GCN Employee Lounge after I log off at 9.30. Would people be down to hang out with old Joe Meister General? I can't walk through that death fog, right? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. 
Think there's no way that any good is going to come from me walking through death fog. It's not called sunshine fog. So I can't go through there. So all I can do is leave. It's Wedge J says, you cannot unless you like being super dead. Nope, I just like walking through fire instead. Like a dolt. Damn it, let me go put myself out. This is getting real old. Real oh. Okay. I'm gonna wrap up this stream by checking out the upstairs. I can't believe we got as far as we did tonight. Um let's go. Oh, okay. We're fighting. Oh, that is a what the fuck is happening? Okay, um, that is a serpent attacking the boat, and uh, there is a vicious voidling here. Looks like we're going a little long! Okay, uh, now is the time to break out. Petrifying touch? No, electric discharge scroll. I don't know what it does. That seemed like the right move. It's stunned. Okay, so now attack it. Miss, come on with the fucking miss. Oh no, there's another one. It's my turn. Uh, I'm going all in. Oh, that's nice. Is that my turn? Shit. I mean, how are these things not going to kill me? And if they kill me, is that the end of the game? There's a fucking serpent on board. Uh, what do I do here? All right, if I go... I, I have six HP left. A regular attack does five to six, I think. Oh, I can't even do it. Oh, fuck! Battering ram... Go all in. Does that hit both of them? No. Oh, damn it all. This is so brutal. That guy's got 17 hit points. He has six. You always want to try and eliminate one target, but that just seems like a waste. Ugh, guaranteed kill. Okay, now I got to deal with this guy. Maybe a spell if I have it. Mosquito swarm, yeah, that's gonna really show him. Did I use petrifying touch? Uh, let's see. It's petrified. Maybe that's enough to. Oh god, that's one point of damage. That's it. Damn it, damn it. All right, he's petrified, he lost an action, and then he hit me hard. All right, I need to start thinking about potions here. I'm not sure, where I haven't played this, I don't know about like, uh, like management of resources. I don't know how that works. All right, this thing's got four hit points left. I think he's the last thing I gotta deal with. I don't think I have to deal with that giant fucking boat size octopus. So, let's just go all in. On this guy. Dead. And then it's telling me to use the hatch. Do I use the hatch? Do I loot the magister? What do I do? I guess that's a good time to end the stream, guys and gals and ladies and men. Uh, thanks for hanging out and watching this. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to sit back and think about it and leave you with a cliffy, with a raging cliffy, uh, for my first stream back in a long, long time. Thank you for hanging out. I know this isn't, uh, you know, this isn't uh, what I'm trying to say. This isn't Androids and Aliens Live. This isn't Glass Cannon Live. This is laid back video games.
And so for you to sit and watch this, uh, I'm really appreciative. Uh, from what I see in the chat here, Joe is going to go live once I stream, uh, once I end the stream. So uh, please stick around and watch Joe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go die on this boat or look up the answer online as to how to get out of this. Uh, I'll see you Friday night, Androids and Aliens Live, 8 p.m. Eastern, on our other channel, twitch.tv slash theglasscannon. Lavelle out!